Fine. I'll help. A live medium is a lot more useful than a dead one. In most cases. Plus, I'd haunt the shit out of you. <laughs> In order to prepare you for the hunter, I need to understand your experience with it so far. So no more bullshit, okay? You got it. So your brother's heart attack. Definitely not a heart attack, right? No. Something was after him. And what I know now, it was probably the same hunter. And you were there when it killed him. I, uh, sort of. I tried to help Kale, but I had no idea what we were up against. you stumbled across. Some of this is guesswork. But it'll help. Right? Time will tell. That's how it happens. He never had a chance. But why? Why hunt down mediums, kill them, and leave their spirits unharmed? How do you know their spirits are safe? You have proof? A couple of days ago, it was my brother that told me about the hunter. I figured. 
Had to be him or your mom. My, my mom? Did she... What are you talking about? You don't really think she would just drive off the road and crash for no reason, do you? Wait, what the fuck? Where do you get off just saying shit like that? I thought we were being honest with each other. The only reason we're here right now is because we tracked your mom for decades. She didn't just die in a car crash. That was bullshit? I mean, she did crash her car after she suffered a massive heart attack with a healthy heart. Holy shit. It's, it's killed my whole family. And you're its unfinished business. Why? Why wouldn't she warn me or warn Kale? She didn't tell anything to anybody. She thought she could handle him. Hell, we thought she could handle him. Your mom was very skilled. Wait, did you know her? I met her a few times. She wasn't a huge fan of us. And with how well you treat people, what a shame. I liked her though. You remind me of her. You beg me to come here, and then you waste my time. I am done with it, Demophon. I appreciate it, Aurelia. Really. I only came to make it absolutely clear. You and your organization are done keeping tabs on my family and me. The next time I see one of your agents, I won't be kind. How about a little respect here, lady? Demophon, your dog is barking. Excuse me? Do you know who we are? Hey, you don't get to talk to him. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Get them off! Get them off! I'm sorry about him. He's new. Stay out of my life, Demophon. I'm concerned. That's all. About what's after us. What's after you? Don't be. I've dealt with this for years. Okay? I don't plan to slip up. But what happens if you do? Then you're welcome to be concerned. And she, she never said anything <laughs> to either of us. Be kind of a shit mom if she did. You think you would have slept well as a kid if you had known a century old boogeyman was after your mom? Century old? <sighs> no wonder he was dressed that way. Wait, you saw him? You saw the hunter? In person? Suspended, effective immediately. Could that be any more of a fucking nightmare? Yeah, it could. You could have had your license revoked. Give it time, James. <laughs> Give it time. No, 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 sweetie, sweetie. This whiskey is not good enough for you. Here's, here. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna drink this water, and then we're gonna go home. And then you're gonna start your appeal to the racing board. Mm. I don't even know if I wanna go back. Why not? You are the most caring, most kind, most brilliant nurse that I know. Why are you letting your talents go to waste like that? Come here. <laughs> that stupid hospital doesn't deserve you. <laughs> you're the real bestest nurse. <laughs> wow. Well. 
That's really sweet, except I really know you're saying that just because you are super duper drunk right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did a masquerade ball just let out? What? <laughs> the tall dude in the booth, the, the funny coat and the, the fluffy scarf thing. Wow, you are way more drunk than I thought you were. Maybe he's a LARPer. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking about? I don't see him. Nobody's there. Oh, shit. Ocean. Fuck. It's him. Who? Ocean. I won't stop, Ocean. Get the fuck away from me! snatched me. I didn't body snatch you. Kidnap me. That's a little harsh. You threw a black bag over my head and stuffed me in a car. How is kidnap too harsh? Okay. Not the point. No. The point is you need to hook me up. You got any like magic guns that can kill ghosts or or some special ritual that can trap him? I can't help you. What the fuck do you mean can't? Formal threat assessment has concluded. Results to be delivered to supervisor once subject is escorted off the premises. down. You don't work for Orpheus. I can't just give you an occult artifact or something like that. So I'll die. Like everyone else, like my whole family. I don't think so. Your mom fought this guy off for years. <laughs> Decades even. You, you have that same ability within you. Sure. I can speak to the dead. So you want me to talk to dead? Yeah, good plan, asshole. That, that is the tip of the iceberg, Ocean. Do you understand the difference between the, the mediums that go on TV to scam celebrities and the ones that Orpheus cares about? One talks to the dead. The other weaponizes them. Weaponizes? When you did that seance, you controlled the dead. Having them fight for you, that's just taking the equation one step further. But how do I do that? You try. You reach out. Look, it's going to be different for everyone. But if you're anything like your mom, I think it'll come naturally. Ocean. Good luck.
You're an asshole. She's gonna die. You know that. Not necessarily. She could pull it off. You, though. Whew. Hell of a performance. Gave her just the right push. Well, I'm not helping you anymore, okay? I'm done being under your thumb. <laughs> you see, that's the thing about you being dead. You're really bad at saying no to me. <laughs>